Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the JDS Review Vacation Edition. I am your host, Jose Solorzano. Today we're going to be doing a review of a timeshare vacation rental resort located in Pompano Beach, Florida, which is in the suburbs of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is right above Miami, called Canada House Beach Club. Now I came across this resort through the RCI network. For those of you not familiar with who RCI is, they are a timeshare exchange company that many owners use when they want to exchange their timeshares for use of others. Now, I went ahead and purchased this one outright uh, with use of points that I had used after exchanging one for the other as there was little availability in other areas in which I was looking at. Now, I had been in Pompano Beach and Fort Lauderdale area quite a few times before, so I was a little familiar with the area, so I was really anxious about going back. Uh, so I, I went ahead and booked, and they were listed under RCI as Silver Crown. And so, first thing I noticed in getting in there, now we got there very late at night, so I didn't really get a chance to even enjoy our first day there. Uh, so we went ahead and got unpacked, got everything. The photos you see here are going to be a combination of over seven days of staying there. Seven days rather, not over, but just seven days here. Uh, they're going to be the usual amenities which you're going to have. You're going to have your full kitchen, your typical bathroom. It's basically a, a living space. You're going to have a swim pool there, a couple of lush greens, some good scenery around there. And it's located right on the beach. There's a little map there of things that get around. It's actually technically Orlando. While they have Orlando there, I don't know. But in the back, you've got a cooking area that you can actually sit down and enjoy. There's a lake right there, uh, which you can look at. And just right over that lake is going to be the beach that you can go to. There's going to be a walkway, which you're going to see photos of that in just a bit there. Uh, so definitely an area, there's the bridge right there that you take to get back into the beach area. If you ever do stay here, definitely don't forget to bring your key card because there's a gate that you have to go through uh, that you can see right there. And without your key card, you cannot get back in. You're going to be stuck. Uh, so definitely make sure that you have your key card when you go to and fro. I actually did have a situation and look they even warn you right there stop before you exit make sure you got that key card on you so this is the this is looking on the back portion of the Canada House Beach Club there this is just looking at some of the nearby surrounding areas that are there definitely very tranquil very quaint uh, that you could enjoy right there as well There's a little beautiful walkway right there now my wife and I had actually gotten this one based on the number of points we had and we were only able to get a studio, meaning that we didn't have a separate bedroom and that we would all have to be in together. And definitely even though it was a studio, and it's really hard to judge the other rooms because we didn't stay in them and only stayed in a studio, I've been in a studio before in other resorts. And usually most studios, even though they're technically studios, they're still somewhat spacious. You can still kind of walk around and, and get around. We didn't find that to be the case here at Canada House Beach Club. The room was extremely small. The kitchen was very tiny. Uh, it was kind of hard to get around. And, and we found that the bathrooms were definitely kind of dated. Uh, even the equipment that they offered to us as far as the cooking with was also somewhat dated as well and so as a result our overall stay just really wasn't as great as it would at like let's say a Wyndham owned resort or some other resorts I've been to before but my biggest problem that I had was the quality of sleep the beds both the master bed that that actually pulled out from what looked like to be a bookshelf or an entertainment center and then the sofa sleeper was extremely uncomfortable, so much so that my wife actually had a massive headache as a result and had to stay in virtually for two days because she just couldn't get out because she just wasn't feeling well. And normally when you're on vacation, you're supposed to rest, you're supposed to relax, you're supposed to have a great time. 
And while there was a lot of resting, there wasn't a lot of relaxation. Uh, and so we were really disappointed in that. Now, I, I will say that it's nice that it was located right on the beach so you can simply just get out and enjoy yourselves. The pool was a pretty decent size too. I did like the size of the pool and I will compliment them on that. So they had that going for them as well. Now, unlike a lot of resorts that are owned by Wyndham and maybe some other vacation rental companies, aka timeshares, Canada House Beach Club didn't offer any kind of amenities as far as activities for children, any kind of uh, activities that we're normally accustomed to at most Wyndham resorts. So overall, we definitely found the state to be very meh, very just, it was okay. If you're there only to go into the beach and to relax, and if the weather's great, this might be the resort for you, especially if this is the only one that's available. But overall, uh, we, did, we really did not enjoy our stay. And the staff was kind of like all right as far as they weren't really rude, but they weren't really friendly either. They're nothing like the Wyndham staff whatsoever. So overall, uh, definitely disappointed in Canada House Beach Club. And I can't really see us going back because Papineau Beach has so many resorts to choose from. Some that are Wyndham's, many that are not. But there are a lot of quality resorts to where I would definitely have to give another one a try before I would consider going back to Canada House Beach Club. So definitely very disappointing and overall definitely not one of my probably the least favorite resort I've ever stayed at. Uh, now I'm not counting hotels those don't count that's a completely different breed altogether. But I'm speaking about vacation resorts where you expect your full kitchen, a full living space area. So look, there's the pictures of the kitchen right there. Very, very tiny, very cramped. Uh, the equipment definitely very dated. So that's the pullout bed right there that comes from the wall. Not comfortable at all. Uh, very little space. There really was no dining room table to sit at. You basically just sat right next to the kitchen now there you see a silver crown reward uh, for hospitality though silver crown supposed to be like next to gold crown but I didn't see it I didn't feel like I had that experience I wouldn't even say that I would have given them bronze in this particular case I would have maybe given them aluminum foil or wood or something else I'm not entirely sure so overall I'm gonna have to give Canada Beach House a two out of five stars I simply just did not enjoy it. I didn't hate it, uh, but I really didn't like it either. I think if there would have been some more amenities and if the beds would have been a lot more comfortable, I could have overlooked some of the other shortcomings there. But when you have uncomfortable beds and very little space, it's really kind of hard to enjoy your time there, especially if you're in a situation where there's bad weather and you can't go out to the beach as, as much as you want to. So that's my opinion on the Canada House Beach Club in Pompano Beach, Florida. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and most importantly, please subscribe uh, so we can continue to put more videos out here. Also, you can follow us on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for listening, and you have yourselves a fantastic day.